Hi everyone, welcome back to Feeding Raven Doodles with Pet Parents Guide to Nutrition. Today's topic is quick tips, what not to feed, unsafe foods for pets. Now, there are so many foods out there that are perfectly safe for us to eat, but they're not safe for our pets. And many pet owners don't even know that there are certain foods that can cause illness or even death in their furry companions. So today, I'll be talking to you all about foods that are unsafe for our pets to consume. Avocado is not technically poisonous to dogs and cats, but it can be unsafe to feed them. Um, for one thing, avocado is very high in fat, and that can cause a digestive issue called pancreatitis, where the organ called the pancreas becomes inflamed, and this can lead to um, changes in color or consistency of your pet's feces. Feeding dogs avocados can also be dangerous because of that large pit that's in the center of an avocado. It's very big and it can cause your dog to choke or it can cause what we call a foreign body obstruction in the digestive tract, which is where the pit will get lodged somewhere and then it will prevent other uh, food items from passing along and that pit would have to be removed uh, via surgery. So it's best to avoid feeding av avocados to your dogs and cats. Bread dough or other doughs made with yeast um, can be very unsafe to feed to your dogs and cats. So yeast is going to rise in their stomach and create a lot of gas. And this gas distension is gonna cause a lot of pain and discomfort and it even can rupture their stomach or small intestines. So it's much safer just to avoid feeding your dogs and cats any type of dough at all. Citrus fruits are very acidic and they contain an acid called citric acid. Um, all of this acid can cause a lot of GI upset, um, like vomiting um, or abdominal pain. So it's best to avoid feeding citrus fruits to your dogs and cats. Coconut and coconut oil have high amounts of oils that are really not easily digested by our dogs and cats, and this can cause vomiting and diarrhea. So it's probably best to avoid feeding coconut or coconut oil to your dogs and cats. Dogs and cats are lactose intolerant. So like some humans, dogs and cats have very small amounts of an enzyme called lactase, which is used to break down the sugar in milk, which is called lactose. So um, drinking high amounts of milk or eating a lot of dairy products like cheese or ice cream can cause vomiting and diarrhea in dogs and cats. So it's best to avoid feeding them any milk or dairy products at all. Nuts contain high amounts of fat, and just like we talked about with avocado, a lot of fat can cause um, pancreatitis for one, and it can also cause vomiting and diarrhea, so it's best to avoid feeding dogs and cats nuts. The biggest concern with feeding a raw or undercooked meat products is bacterial contamination. And I'm gonna get further into detail on this topic with a future video called Raw Diet, so stay tuned for that. Raw eggs also contain an enzyme that decreases the body's absorption of a B vitamin called biotin, and this can lead to skin and coat health problems. Raw bones can also cause a variety of different problems, um, not only the bacterial contamination, but also tooth breakage. It can cause your pet to choke, and it can cause a foreign body obstruction in the digestive tract, or even tearing of the intestines. So it's best to avoid feeding any type of raw meat, egg, or bone product to your dogs and cats. Alcohol should never be given to any animal. Alcohol can cause symptoms like vomiting, diarrhea, depression, stumbling, difficulty breathing, muscle tremors, coma, and even death. Coffee, chocolate, and caffeine products all contain chemicals called methylxanthines. Now there are different uh, levels of methylxanthines in each of these products and different types of these products. So dark chocolate is a lot more dangerous than milk chocolate. Eating products that contain methylxanthines can cause symptoms like vomiting and diarrhea, panting, excessive thirst and urination, abnormal heart rhythm, muscle tremors, seizures, and even death. So you definitely never want to feed chocolate 
to your dogs and cats. Garlic, onions, chives, and leeks all are in the same family of vegetables, and they contain what are called oxidants, which damage our pet's red blood cells. Signs of toxicity are going to include um, digestive upset, depression, weakness, lethargy, yellow gums, and reddish brown urine. That's all caused by red blood cell damage, so you never ever want to give garlic, onions, chives, or leeks to your dogs and cats. Grapes and raisins are toxic to dogs, and they contain an unidentified toxin that causes kidney failure. Signs of toxicity are going to include vomiting, diarrhea, lack of appetite, dehydration, abdominal pain, drooling, lethargy, stumbling, weakness, and trembling. So you're never going to want to give your dogs grapes or raisins. Macadamia nuts are toxic to dogs. They cause weakness, depression, vomiting, muscle tremors, and fever. And since they are nuts and they're very high in fat, they can also cause pancreatitis and diarrhea. So you're definitely gonna to wanna to avoid feeding any kind of nuts to your dog. The seeds and pits of fruits like apples, apricots, cherries, and peaches contain a chemical called cyanide. Cyanide causes red gums, dilated pupils, difficulty breathing, panting, and shock-like symptoms, which all can be life-threatening. So you're never gonna wanna feed the seeds of any type of fruit to your dogs and cats. Xylitol is a, an artificial sweetener found in many different types of human food products. The main ones being things like sugar-free gum, some types of peanut butter, some toothpastes, and some candies. Now, the most concerning of these is, of course, peanut butter, because a lot of dog owners like to feed our dogs peanut butter as a treat. Um, but this sweetener, xylitol, can cause a massive insulin release in the body, which can then lead down the road to liver damage. So signs of xylitol toxicity are going to include vomiting, lethargy, and stumbling. And this can progress to your dog or cat lying down, not being able to get up, and having seizure-like activity, which can be life-threatening. So always check the ingredients list on any human food products that you might use to give your dog or cat a treat and make sure that they don't contain xylitol because it can be life-threatening if they ingest it. To learn more about other household items that can poison your dogs and cats, go to feedingravendoodles.com to learn more. If you suspect or if you know that your pet has eaten any of the items that we've talked about, call your pet's usual veterinarian immediately. If your pet's usual veterinarian is not available, call a 24-hour emergency hospital nearby. If there is no 24-hour emergency hospital nearby, or if they're unavailable, call the Pet Poison Control at 888-426-4435 or the Pet Poison Helpline at 855-764-7661. And always make sure that you have the packaging of the product that your pet ingested with you when you call the vet or poison control or when you go to the vet to seek treatment for your pet. Having the product label can help the veterinarian save your pet's life. Thank you so much for watching this quick tips video on what not to feed unsafe foods for pets. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share with your friends. And leave any comments down below if you have questions about this video or suggestions for future ones. Also check out that video's description below where I provide you with links to pet poison control and other resources that are relevant about this topic. Also, go to feedingravendoodles.com for a complete collection of all my articles and videos. Next time, we're going to be talking about homemade diets. Say bye, Raven. <laughs>